AMS 2140, Collecting Waveforms. In this tutorial, I will show you how to collect up to four waveforms on four channels simultaneously using the AMS 2140. As we review this technique, you'll note a visual reference to the CSI 2140. Please be aware that this product has been rebranded as AMS. Here you see the home screen of the AMS 2140. Start by selecting F7 Advanced Analyze and then F1 Manual Analyze. Select F1 Set Analyze Mode and choose Waveform. Select F2 Set Fmax to specify the maximum frequency. Here we will use 2000 Hz. Select F5 to specify how long you want to see the waveform. For our example, we will use one second. Samples rates and number taken are automatically recalculated based on the Fmax and sample time. If you have a TAC sensor installed, you can use F7 to configure it and collect speed data. For this tutorial, I am using a traditional photo TAC, so the power is on. My trigger level will be 2 volts. Select F10 Show RPM to confirm it is working. Since I now see speed data on the screen, I know it is working. Going back to Analyze Setup, select F9 Set Trigger. We will start with the trigger off, so speed will not be recorded and there won't be any tack pulses in the waveforms. Select F12 Input Setup to specify how many channels will be used simultaneously. We will use four channels but you could use F1 Select Input to deactivate any channels if you wanted to use fewer. Use F7 Sensor Setup to define the kind of sensors you are using. In this example, we are using accelerometers with 100 millivolt per engineering unit and power on. This is a fairly standard setup on input A, and we'll use the same on input B. Go to the Alt 2 page to check input C and D. Now that we've confirmed the four sensors are correct, push Enter. Now we see the four accelerometers and the waveform will be converted to velocity. If you want to see the waveform in G's, select the input unit key and change your selection. Press enter to start measurements and immediately you see four channels of data coming in. The analysis tools for the incoming data are covered in other tutorials. When we return to the Setup menu and select F9 Set Trigger, we can specify a TAC trigger. This will indicate TAC pulses on the waveforms. From here, you can use F6 Switch Plot Type to toggle over the individual channels. Here you see channel A, B, C, D, and again the four channels together. At any time, you can stop data collection and use F9 to store the data in job mode. This concludes our tutorial. Please continue watching to select from other recommended tutorials or visit the AMS Reliability Channel for the AMS 2140 playlist. Additional product information can be found at emerson.com/ams2140. Thank you for watching.